To start, I will double click on the job I want to edit and add an instruction form to my job. The instruction is now displayed in the editor window. MBS Contract Administrator will automatically complete or calculate the required information on the forms. I will enter an item number, a title for the item and a description for the item. I will select the item type for the cost tracking report. Bold, italic and underlined formatting can be applied to the title and description. I will select the text I want to apply the formatting to and select the formatting options I would like to apply to the highlighted text. I will enter the amount to omit or add in relation to the item and the approximate adjusted total is automatically calculated. I will select the Add a new item button to insert a new item. To change the logo for this form, I will select the logo displayed at the bottom of the form. I want to add a custom logo to the architect's instruction, so I will select the custom option and select Browse. I will browse to the location of my custom logo and select the Open button. If I don't want a logo to be displayed on the instruction, then I would select the No Logo option. These options are also available from the Tools menu. It is also possible to change the distribution list for each form via the Distribution tab. To change the number of copies sent to the job team, I will select the number of copies and enter the new number of copies to the specified role. I will select the Instruction tab. The job and form references are supplied. Once I have finished editing the instruction and the associated distribution list, I am ready to issue the form. I will select the Issue button and select Yes to continue. If I enter an issue reason here, this will be displayed on the transmittal sheet. PDF copies of the form and corresponding transmittal sheet will automatically be created in the output directory for the job. A transmittal sheet is automatically generated for every contract administration form when it is issued. The issue reason, if entered, is displayed at the bottom of the transmittal sheet. Here is the PDF version of the instruction. The item is displayed exactly as in the instruction editor. Once issued, the instruction can no longer be edited unless it has been recalled. The editor allows me to choose whether to include or exclude cost information on my printed form. Cost information is displayed on the form by default. I can select Hide Costs on the printed form from the drop-down menu. I will select the Print Preview button to view the form. All cost information on the print preview is hidden. The grey circle icon indicates that the form has been issued and will only open in read-only format. The orange square icon indicates that the form is in draft status and can be edited when open. And the white triangle indicates that the form has been issued but is still capable of being recalled.